If you are trying to design your room but don't know how and where to start, I'm here to tell you that you don't need to worry about anything because I will explain you how you can design your space in 5 simple steps in this video. So go ahead and grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee and a piece of paper to take some notes and let's everyone welcome to my channel i hope you are all having a great day my name is salan and i am architect interior designer and also founder of salan architectural design in london on this channel i share interior design related videos to help you create your own cozy spaces and also give you a perspective from an architect's eye so if this is something that you are interested in don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow my channel for more videos without further ado let's start I just want to say that before doing anything else you should definitely measure your space and I cannot emphasize how much important it is and how much it's going to help you in the next steps of your design process. You can use a laser meter but if you don't have one there is no problem. You can use your basic meter and you have to measure your room's width, length and also height. And yes I said it right, you also have to measure your wall height. This will allow you to have much more control in the next steps and also it will help you to not waste your money on the things that are not going to work for you. If you have any walls that are not aligned due to columns and beams, you should also measure them and take some notes on a piece of paper. This can be useful if you like a particular furniture or if you want to have a built-in furniture for that specific space because you will have the measurements so that you can speed up the process. <laughs> measurements you should get a pen and a piece of paper and draw a basic plan of your room with the measurements you have taken your space better and also imagine your design easier in the next steps. I just want to highlight one more time that you should only draw a basic room plan which shows the basic information such as walls, windows and the doors and nothing more. Once you have created your sketch, you should roughly think about the furniture layout. I mean, where you can put your bed, your wardrobe, your desk, table or any kind of furniture that every room must have depending on its function. When you are doing that, you should also take some notes about the furniture sizes that can fit your space because it will help you to scale down your options when you actually start buying them. And it will also give you an idea about how much space those furnitures will cover in your room. For example, if you cannot fit a king size bed into your room, you will not waste your time by checking the king size beds, but you will be more focused on double beds that is going to be a better fit for your space. You can also create more than one furniture layout, but at the end of the day, you should decide which one you would like to go for. Because the more things we decide earlier, the better and easier we can move forward in the design process.
that we are still yet to design so you should keep your furniture layout 100% simple and it's very important because you shouldn't decide every detail before you actually find some inspirations for your space and this brings us to the third step of this design process Okay, this is the step where magic happens. We take our measurements, we created our basic furniture layout and now it's time to find some inspirations for our room. The first thing that you should consider when you are finding your inspirations is that you should be specific and also realistic about your space. And what I mean by that is you can find absolutely amazing and creative designs online but if you cannot apply them into your space, you will just waste your time. Let's say you like a huge living room design with tall windows everywhere but your living room is actually smaller and also it only has two normal size windows. So even if you like that it will be impossible to have the same effect as you have seen on the screen and you will just waste your time. You should focus on room designs that are similar to your room shape. The more specific you do your research, the more easier to imagine and also design. So be careful about that. You can use Pinterest to find some inspirations or basically you can go with Google search but I personally suggest you to use Pinterest because it has more inspiring images compared to Google search. You can create your own digital mood board on Pinterest or you can print them from there and bring them together in a physical mood board. This will allow you to see how your design will look like when you finish. You can include any type of details on your mood board such as the plant type that you want to see in your room or the texture of the rug that you want but like I said before you should be specific. Being specific will also make your design flow easier because you will have much more control over the space. Once you finish creating your mood board you should start doing some online research and arrange your budget. This is the most important step that you will create the bridge between your inspirations and your real situation. First of all, you should start doing some research to see where you can find similar furnishings or accessories that are on your mood board. And this is also very important because sometimes it's hard to guess how much money we actually need to create what we want. And trust me on this, sometimes some accessories and details actually cost more than you thought. So don't forget to make a list of the shops that you are interested in and also put some information about their pricing. You can basically create a list of furnishings with their pricing and also where you can find this them. This will allow you to see everything on the same paper so you can calculate how much money you actually need and how you can work your budget out. Once you have created your list, you are ready to start buying and this brings us to the last step. This is the last step where you can actually turn your dreams into reality and start buying them online or in shop. If we consider the situation that is going on around the world, I will suggest you to go for online shopping because you have access to every little information from dimensions to reviews. I just want to say that after you create your shopping list the one step before, if you think that you may not be able to buy everything in once, start buying from the most important to least important ones. I understand you and it's not a big deal so you can get the ones that you need most and keep buying the rest when you have them. Secondly, if you will buy online you should always check their delivery times and also delivery fees because some companies offer free deliveries but you have to wait for such a long time. If you don't check that before you buy everything you bought might arrive at different times so just be careful about that. You should also check their delivery fees and consider how much they will add up on your budget because if you have so many things on your shopping list it might be overwhelming. Recently I wanted to buy a chair for my room and I was really interested in the one that I have seen on IKEA online. I think it was around £25 so I wanted to buy that but once I want to check out they told me that the delivery fee is going to be £29 so it was very funny so I just left it so be careful about that. If you do all the steps that I have mentioned in this video trust me you will be happy with your space and you will be proud of yourself. 
If you have watched this video until here, thank you so much. It means a lot for me and I really appreciate that. I want to know if you will apply the steps when you design your home and did you find this video helpful? You can also let me know about any other tips if you have in the comment section below because I love connecting to you. So let's connect and create a community that is going to help people. If you like this video, don't forget to click that like button so that I can know if my content is helping you out and I can create more for you. And Remember to subscribe to my channel and also you can follow me on Instagram at Salon Architectural Design for daily inspirations. And also you can connect with me at Salon Architectural Design at hotmail.com for business inquiries. Again, thank you so much for watching and stay safe until I see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.